All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna start with building up the intake and I'm going with the three and a half inch piping. I already got the 90, this is the same intake that I got on my uh, 430. So it's gonna be really up and simple. It's just gonna be a little bit straight with the stainless steel, go to 45 and then dump right over here into a filter. Um, I'm gonna start with basically cutting my pieces, tack it all up and then I can paint it and let it sit while we're doing all the other stuff. Also what I'm gonna do, so the filter is gonna land right around here. We're gonna mock up my new bumper so we kind of know where everything's gonna be placed. So you guys will be able to see that today too. And then after that, we're gonna be doing some more other stuff to the car where hopefully it's not gonna rain anymore. And it's gonna be pretty fun. All right. All right, so this is the bumper I got for the car. It came in broke. So I will not recommend the people I bought it from. I got it from Car ID. It broke, they didn't wanna give me my money back. They said sucks to be you more or less. So I had to go different routes to get my cash back, but we're still gonna try to use it because this is these are just mounting tabs right over here that broke off. So I'm gonna hope it goes on pretty clean. All right, you wanna hop on that side, bro? So mock it up, and we're gonna start putting the tape to hold it. These keeps the supposed to go up here. Well, so yeah, yeah. Yours are broken, so yours gonna be easier. So I'll hold my side, sir. I got it. Right All right. Here. You wanna put tape on your side first? Put like a shitload so we gotta keep it kind of stationary. bumper this is more or less installed yeah i know there's a couple effing gaps over here but this is literally just taped up so we can mock it up so i know where the filter is going to drop pretty effing mean to me i still got to get probably some mesh over here and mesh over there for the fog lights but i think it's going to be looking pretty pretty rad definitely not going to be the most perfect thing i'll have to do a lot of effing adjusting but i like it and the intake will sit right this would be plenty of airflow right there, and then once this bumper gets on, then I can do all the stuff underneath, all the shrouds and all that stuff, but just with the tape, it's holding up really good, so I'm thinking these bolts will be good. Alright. So the filter's not going to come off of this one? No. Okay. i got to make two welds now. I thought it was only going to be one. Then I could choke up on it a little bit. I want to see if I can use that filter. If not, I'll use the other filter. Because mm -hmm. I think it's going to be too big. You know what I mean? Okay. Just keep your eye on that hole where the dog might come out of. I'll sleep. Alright, All right, so we got the three inch. I already tacked up one with the 45 in the straight, and I got this one, which is roughly 11 inches. And it should give us almost perfect amount. So I'm going to go tack this up, and then we're going to test fit everything. And then I'll do a final beat of weld after that, but it's coming out pretty good. Pretty good. Looking pretty clean. All right. So we got it tacked in, so we're gonna try to test feed it, fit it right now. There we go, it's 
gonna stay with nothing, and then I'm gonna hop down here with the filter. Ugh. Man, that's gonna fit like perfectly down here. I know you guys probably can't see it too well down here, but I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. All right. We're gonna finish welding all this up and then paint it and put it on. All right, now this is, we're all tacked up. I mounted, I made sure it's perfect. I'm gonna do the final welds all over this. I'm gonna try to my best to make them look really clean, but um, it should be pretty up and simple. And then once I coat it and paint it and let it sit, we'll reinstall it. But I got my little welder and I'm gonna start hitting it up. are kind of poopy but you can slowly see how I kind of got better at it so I mean for me it was all practice so I'm happy with it even if other people think it looked like shit and they're like oh mine's this mine's that be like well did you weld it yourself and with no training it's got a nice little straight 45 then a little 10 degree bend so it's gonna be perfect so uh, I'm gonna start it's gonna drop right in there like I showed you before but before that I'm gonna prime it and paint it on let it all sit and we're gonna start doing some other work on the car. All right. All right, while we're waiting for the intake and all that to dry, I'm gonna start gutting the back of this. Cause I'm never, I never really have anyone in the back seats of my cars and this one's gonna be almost just like the 430 is. So I'm gonna start ripping off all this stuff that I don't need, like the back seat. So I got that pin all the way. I'm gonna literally just remove and just keep moving forward. Ugh. See what socket we need. All right, you can stop it. All right, so now I got that cover out. I'm gonna hit this as like another 13 out of here. Now I might not be doing this the most efficient way to get these out, but remember I'm not doing it to keep them. I'm just like prying them the F out just to get rid of them. So no biggie to me. I just gotta remember how to do it. I haven't done it in like about a year or something. There's the other bolts. All right, these are a 10. And if anyone wants these, they can have them for free. Just come get them before I throw them out. Once again, if I strip these bolts, I don't really care. They'll go in my bolt drawer, or if they're stripped, they'll get thrown away. But... So I'm digging stuff out of this car, the seats, and I keep finding stuff. I found the flyers to the place that used to work on this car and the rates and the receipt. I'm not going to mention who did that, but then I also found a nice little restaurant day to a nice Rotelli's fine dining in Pompano. So anyone who really knows me will know why that's really funny. And I was just dug under the seat as me trying to rip this FM stuff out. But I'm going to keep going and try to get this base because... The hook is actually broken, and the tab over here is seized up and bent somewhere, so I gotta try to break all this shit out. Stuff, stuff out, but... I gotta be careful, because underneath here is the adjusters for the e-brakes. There's a whole adjuster thing down here. So I, I gotta remember to watch out for that, but all this other stuff should just pop the hoot any out. I gotta remember to do it, though. But I'm gonna keep trucking away at it. Alright, my buddy Berto's back there. Um... I ran out of energy and the thing was 
the bars and all that shit were at or completely sheared off, so he had to go back there and manhandle it and just break it all off. Bruise. And he got a boo boo. Look at oh. it. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, slide me this back seat out now. Oh, yep, they came out in pieces. So we got quite a bit so far. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. Ugh. All right. We're going to keep gutting away back there. All right. Got to guide me a little bit. All right. So Berto's already back there, so he's going to start ripping some of the stuff out. We're going to keep some of this trim right over here, but we're getting this side panel off. So you should just pull this and it pops right out. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Go all the way out with it. Your right top. And then the seatbelt ain't connected to it, is it? Nope. Send it right to the back. Woo! All right. Now the next side. Yeah. This side. Right to yonder. Yeah. Throw the heart, yeah, get throw it somewhere. Yeah, Let me. There you go. This little piece, make it look a little nicer. Oh, boy, we're breaking this stuff. And we're not taking yeah. It the good way. But we don't need them. Yeah. Boom. All right, before anyone complains, yeah, I'm not keeping any of this stuff. I ain't trying to sell it unless someone wants it for free. So we're just ripping to make it easy and just keep going. Just for us, it's, I got so many of these parts spared, I don't really even care. I'm just chucking. All right. Yeah, is it, I might need the dikes. Yeah, I'll get you a thing of dikes and those yeah. pop right out. Oh, let me go over, yeah. Off to the garage. <laughs> oh, there's some, ah. Nom, nom, nom. Uh. There. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the seat's a little bit jacked, so. It's moving by itself. Uh, All right. We're also gutting the trunk, so he's in there doing the piece over here that I'm going to start ripping all this up. All right, since we're doing, I am going to have a radio in this car, but I'm going to do the same thing I did. Oh, crap, those are pretty effing rusted. I'm going to do the same thing I did in the 430, that whole radio setup, so I don't need any of this stuff. But those bolts are actually rust. That's going to be, do something else. <laughs> uh, grinder. All right, I'm going to try to bend this out. I already got one loose. I'm breaking it. Yeah. It's all rusted and don't get it up. God, come on. Break way out. All right, come on. All right, that's getting almost there. I'm gonna get this piece. Of, got it. All right. Now get the wires out. Trunk looking a lot nicer. I gotta get this out now. Yeah. Get, me, get back over here. This should be coming out now. Yeah. More trim. That's a secondary air pump. I need to keep that. Or not the secondary air pump, but just the air pump for all the pneumatics. All right, while Berto's still ripping that stuff off, I'm going to throw another coat of primer on the intake because we're doing everything simultaneously. Good old shake can. Once again, not the best painter, but it gets the job done. So it's also gonna get some other paints. Damn, let that sit. All right, I got a lot of this trunk stuff, and now I'm getting this sound detonating stuff out of the way. It's just falling apart anyways. Turn the center. Because uh, this stuff is, it's hooting any heavy if you've ever, never picked it up. Cut that. Hopefully that will stay like that. Uh, oh, that amp's gonna come out. 
All right, once again, since we're not doing the whole sound system stuff, this amp, that's the amplifier. That's gonna be coming out. We found a bit. Huh. So basically this car got free tools. Yeah, it's a size. What free? It's a 10. Oh, a 10 inverted Torx? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah? Wow. <laughs> this car is full of so many goodies. Now, right, look at that. Look at that bracket. I'm trying to cut her like right here. Yeah, now since our headrests are kind of broken, we're going to have to cut them off. I did the same thing with the headrest. Go against it. Oh, all right. You want to throw it to me out of the way? All right, we got this part out and also I'll keep that. Still got the originally first aid kit, so that will be saved. Free stuff. All right, we got most of all this trunk, all this like trunk stuff. We're cleaning it out now and back seat stuff. We still got to move this cushion and everything under here, but it's kind of cushy. So next, the headliner is already jacked up. If you can see it's hanging, we're going to rip that whole thing off now. All right, and the gun, gun. So I got the screws out for this. So these backs, they come off really up and easy. And then I'll have to unplug it for the for the light over there. But now we're gonna do the sun visors because I don't need those where I'm going. Let's bring a couple weight and then this is gonna be all out too. All right, we're still pulling apart the interior. We're almost done. We're gonna throw another coat of black paint on the intake right now. What the hell is he doing? All right, we're getting a little fatigued, but we got like 90% of this. We just got to clean it all up now. It's a lot of effing weight out. Uh, the door panels is going to be another day because I have to build a couple things for them, which I've done on the 430, so it's not a big effing deal. But here's a pile of what we got so far. That's the rear seats, headliner uh random trim all over all the all this other crap some speakers a lot of stuff out there but we're gonna have to clean it all up now and then we're still waiting for the intake to dry Ooh, look at all vacuum to clean i might spray that down a little bit with some spray paint we uh vacuumed up not the front but all the back it was looking all up and pretty up and clean now a lot of weight dropped um, I still got to just zip tie all that stuff up and we still got to do the whole front. That's going to be another day with the door panels, the race seats, clean all that up, the radio delete, well not the radio delete, the, lit, the radio modification. So I already got all the parts for radio modification. I've done it before where I re, I put the, the old factory radio, I put it in a new place and I rip out some more AC stuff. So it drops more weight and it, the speaker I put in my 430, it actually slams really effing hard. So, and it's a hoot and any lot lighter setup. So we're gonna knock that out, but we're still doing the intake. <laughs> so this is something we were just painting the trunk and my buddy brother just found this, a swap shop token from South Florida. So 100% this car was a South Florida car for our time, I don't know. I'm gonna keep that. I don't know who's actually remember the swap shop. It's still around, it's down in South Florida. It's like a huge FM flea market. But apparently this car frequently used to go there when they had the arcades with the coins. I don't even know if they still do that there, but this is also a nice little 20 year old car so you find all this cool stuff in there <laughs> but we're painting the trunk right now like i said like two seconds ago we were gonna do apparently bird already started it and keep going oh yeah coming at it all nice another thing we found since i'm showing you all the gems in the car we just found this hidden under the well we didn't just find it but we did find it in the midst of all this rigmarole under uh, one of the seats, I think this was. It was hanging over there and it got knocked around. So this will be going on the back. Nice free little plate. Cool. And right now we got Berto just painting the back seat with all the rust. The trunk came out pretty up and good. Cause right now we're waiting for paint to dry on the intake. So we're 
cleaning out everything else and just respraying whatever we need to. All right. Looking so clean. Painted, even painted inside of there. That was kind of grayish. Oh, all nice and kosher now. I just got to clean up some wires and stuff like that, but pretty, pretty, pretty good. Ugh. And then even the trunk's all good. Yep. All right, cleaned up there a little bit. Snipped back and tucked back what I need. Pretty, pretty good. Another event, another day will be the whole front with new seats, door panels, blah, 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 all that stuff. All right, pipe is all painted, and I threw the heat tape on the bottom of it, and now I'm going to start installing it on the car. Came out pretty, pretty good. All right, we got it all in. Not bad. The welds aren't perfect. It looks definitely clean enough, and it is fucking on there. It still has a little bit of wiggle room, but it's hooting any on there. I'm going to take these off because they're a little bit annoying, but see how it sounds. All right, fired up, Berto. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. The CLK55 is really coming around. I did order, um, cause then in the last video we were spinning hella hardcore. We didn't even shoot uh, this part of us basically doing the gauge and all that rig and roll. Cause you just, with all that weight loss, you just spin, spin, spin. But I did order tires. They should be here in like a couple days. I think I got a good set. I got a good set and I got some really cool rims that I've been talking to a company and they made me a set and there's a cheaper alternative for a lightweight rims, at least for like the Mercedes guys. So I'm going to see if they fit and everything goes good and all that stuff. Then I will talk about them. I'll make a video about them, so on and so forth. But the CLK55 is coming up pretty good and I'm going to join it. I think it's fun. I hope you guys like it and catch you guys later. Baby. Yeah, that's, that's Wake up, 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 wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up.